Hello, and welcome to Underwater Math. Today we're going to talk about comparing fractions with the same numerator in real-world problems. Let's look at an example. Marcus finished one-third of his math homework at school. Ava finished one-fourth of her math homework at school. Who finished the most homework at school? These fractions don't have the same denominator, so how can I compare them? Let's draw a model to represent each fraction. Remember that the models have to be the same size. Yeah yeah. I got it. Whatever. I just wanted to make sure you remembered because it's super important. Anyhow, now we need to divide each model into the right number of parts. Let's put Marcus's model on the left. He finished one third of his homework, so we will divide his model into three equal parts. And since he finished one third of his homework, that tells us we need to shade one part of the model. Hey, quit interrupting me. I was about to get to that part. We'll put Ava's model on the right. She finished one fourth of her homework, so we will divide her model into four equal parts. And then, since, nope, don't even start. It's still my turn. And then, since she finished one fourth of her homework, we need to shade one part. Looking at the models, it's clear that Marcus's model has more shaded than Ava's model. So, this fraction must be bigger. That's right. One third is greater than one fourth. So we can conclude, that when the numerators are the same, the bigger fraction, is the one with the smaller denominator. Thanks for helping me solve this comparing fractions problem. Now I have finished 3 eighths of my math homework. Can you find a fraction bigger than 3 eighths? Oh. Yeah. Try 3 fourths. Same numerator, but the one with the smaller denominator is bigger. Show off, well, see you later.